Your Excellency, Mr. Malcolm McCusker, AC, CVO, QC, Governor of Western Australia, and Mrs. McCusker. Mr. Tony Simpson, Government Whip and Member of for Darling Range, representing the Premier, the Minister for Planning, Culture and the Arts, Science and Innovation. Mr. Andrew Waddell, Member for Forestville, representing the Leader of the Opposition, and Ms. Jenny Davis. Mr. Paul Miles, MLA, Member for Wanderoo. Dr. Penny Aikens, representing the Chief Scientist of WA. Mr. Paul Rosé, Director General, Department of Regional Development and Lands. Dr. Nick Tate, President of the Australian Computer Society. Mr. Wayne Fitzsimmons, the Chairman of the PSC Foundation. Mr. J. J. Vratnam, National Board Member for the Australian Information and Industry Association. Ms. Kelly Hutchinson, Executive Judge for the I Awards. Mr. Jim Ellis, Chief Judge of the I Awards. Mr. David Clark, Chair of the ACS and WA, and Mrs. Clark. Mr. Michael Coles, the immediate past chair of WIATA Organizing Committee, and Mrs. Coles. Representative from the WIATA sponsors and supporting associations. My fellows WIATA sponsors, uh, organizing committee members, WIATA judges, finalists. Now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's my very great pleasure on behalf of the WIATA Organizing Committee and the Australian Computer Society to welcome you to this, the 21st Western Australia Information Technology and Telecommunication Awards Presentation Dinner. Wow, what a start to our 21st birthday party. Yes, WIATA, as Jerry said, have come of age. Tonight, in addition to what Jerry has mentioned in his introduction, recognizing and celebrating the excellence in the ICT community, I'm sure that you'll be thoroughly entertained by the band who will be back in black later to provide more high voltage entertainment this evening. Our thanks to Jeff Harbin and his team who organized tonight's superb entertainment and multimedia extravaganza. As you have just heard, it is a long way to the top. And it's no different for the rock and roll fraternity than it is for the information and communication ICT community. Tonight, we're here to celebrate with all of the technology community and the WIATA finalists who have made it to the top. And you will see the great achievement in the ICT industry in WA, an industry sometimes that can be quite difficult to define. Well, top footballers have their Brownlow medals, top cricketers have the Allen Border medals, Top painters win the Archibald Prize. Coincidentally, today's Archibald Prize was awarded to Tony Storer. And to win an Oscar, you have to be in the film, in filmmaking industry. And so, Waieta is a mark of success for those who have made it to the top in the ICT industry in WA. Some of us here tonight may even remember 21 years ago, the Honorable Jeff Gallup gave Waieta his unofficial title of the Logies of IT. The challenge for the last two decades has been, how do we define an industry award for an industry so ubiquitous? Every, every industry you can name relies on ICT to some extent. In fact, I can't think of one single industry that doesn't. And that's why tonight's finalists come from such diverse industry as academia, mining, advertising, engineering, finance, telcos, security, public service, and the list goes on. As Jerry also mentioned, this is my first year in the role following my two predecessors, Mr. Michael Coles and Mr. Jim Ellis, who have nurtured and grown Waieta over his first 20 years to make it the premier event that we see tonight. Even though I was quite familiar with Waieta's judging process, I was actually quite amazed with the amount of work that's been done behind the scene. I have been a finalist and a winner of Waieta in previous year, but I was flabbergasted with the amount of work by the volunteers that work with us. As Michael said last year, Waieta is a year-round project, but did you know that this juggernaut is, consists of not just the organizing committee, but also eight subcommittee, consists of 44 committee member positions, and this year we have 60 judging positions evaluating 10 Waieta categories. Even if I use a very conservative estimate, this volunteer effort equates to an amazing 2,500 professional hours this year. 
So please join me in recognizing and thanking the committee members and the judges for the diligence and efforts throughout the year. Yes, this year, Y8 has also achieved formal endorsement from the National I Awards Committee to become the state I Awards for WA, ensuring that direct entry is made for all Y8 winners who, may, who can then compete in the National I Awards, which Jim Ellis, our founder and past chair, is now the chief judge. Tonight, as we watch and follow the different ways of our how our finalists have traveled to the top, let's celebrate, congratulate, and encourage each other to continue to persevere to be the best in the West. Now, it's my great pleasure to introduce Mr. Tony Simpson, MLA. Mr. Simpson is a longtime supporter of the ICT industry and has attended many Waiata presentation evening in the past. Last year, he also joined the WA contingent to support the Western Australian finalists at the I Awards. So, Mr. Tony Simpson.